Oh, what? That is so confusing. I am a Mongo really? user and I hate that to core of my life. It seems like a landing page to me, not a working page, right? Then you would be left hanging and I don't think that should be the purpose. Hello everybody, this is Azar and we are another in the another episode of user onboarding teardown number 12 and we have today Ramli with us. Uh, hey Ramli, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How's it going Azar? How are things with you? Great, great. So Ramli, before jumping in, uh, what do you exactly do um, at your consultancy? Yeah, I'm actually working with uh, with Wes and like doing some workshops and helping some product-led companies to implement some product-led concepts. Particularly, we're focused on onboarding right now. Uh, yeah. Perfect, perfect. Let's let's jump into directly to our new product, which is Mangos. Perfect. So, do you want to go first? Sure. Okay. Let's let's jump right in. This is Mongols. Um, Actually, you know what? You you jump and you you probably read more of their blog posts. <laughs> you probably know know more of their blog posts than and you read through it. Yeah. So uh, first of all, I, when when we look at the onboarding, the first thing we see is their website, so their homepage. And in their homepage, they say juicy SEO tools you will love. Uh, one brand, five tools, making SEO simple since 2014. Um, so I, I, I am not that much in love uh, the, with the headline, actually. A headline could be much better. Like they could have used some unique a, a unique selling point, which is different from them uh, compared to um, Hrefs and SEMrush. Um, but I like the fact that they say they have, there is one brand, they have five tools and they are there. So they add a little bit trust. So it's just an SEO tool, which I understand, understand from it. And there is like four buttons. If you click on them, can you click on backlink analysis and website analysis? Yeah. Yeah. So it gives you a little bit kind of a context. Okay. They have like five different tools in there and they give you a product screenshot, which is great. Um, but I still kind of lose out on what exactly they do in terms of uh, how do, how would they help me not just make me love in their product. So, that's something there. And I think there's a video there. Um, according yeah. to CRO techniques, having a video does add value, but you don't know. And actually, I don't love the fact that they have YouTube video instead of a thing. If mm. I were them, I would have a Vistia we'll video to actually track it, right? right um, how, how does that work? But yeah, they're trying to educate me on each of the product. Um, and then we can go a little bit more down, see what else is there. The, the, the website is clean. Um, Trusted by big ones, so they have some social proof in there by adding logos. Wow, yeah, those um, are big names. Really, really big names. Airbnb and Skyscanner, Deloitte. Um, yeah, we can go further down, made for an effective SEO workflow. Find the right keywords. and Okay, so now they're telling me a story. I can find a keyword, then mm. analyze the search location, and then bring the competitors under the spot. And So now they're telling me what exactly. So these are jobs to be done framework. Um, right. And so I think they have done a good job in there. I still don't know what exactly the benefit is other than yeah. using those tools. So it just features they are trying to promote and jobs to be done. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit on analysis from my side. Yeah, I think I totally agree. I think they should have had more of the stuff in the bottom at the, uh, above the fold. Like they can talk about, you know, finding the right key- keywords. They're not, they're, they're talking about love and juicy, but like, how does it help my life easier, right? To, especially with SEO. I also don't like how it's very product focused versus maybe more like human focus, uh, meaning that they're probably looking at somebody here more middle of the funnel who already knows a little bit about SEO, like what this means versus somebody who might just be in the early stage of doing research. One thing I do like is since 2014, I think that adds a little bit of trust. Um, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's that true. They've been around for a while, right? And, and finally, I think they should move the logos up. Like those are big names. So when you scroll down, it was like, dang, they got... They got Deloitte, Airbnb, Alexa, Adidas. Like these are big shot names that they should have put more about the fold. Also, there are some numbers down there if you look at completely down, which should be bring it up because yeah. they add more trust. What's under right. the hood, right? So this is great. They are a data platform, so why not bring this up as well and tell me what exactly they do? Great. Yeah. Perfect. Brian right. Dean, testimonials. Oh, so, these are big names. Thanks. Yeah, I know, really, really big Alita, names. Yeah, I know how big she is in SEO, right? And uh-huh, I know okay. Brian Dean, backlinko.com yeah. is a big big expert in, in the whole SEO space. So interesting. They, so, they should totally have this more up. 
right? Yeah, it's a good job on the social proof there. All right, the startup, 10 days, uh, startup 10, for 10 day free trial. Interesting, right? So everybody has added either seven days or 14 days and they want to give you 10 days. That was interesting, yeah. I think that was, I was like, oh, that's a weird, weird uh, number, 10, not 14, not seven, but 10. They might have done some research on it. What do you think about that? Yeah, maybe they had, they had. Um, I, I mean, I, HREFs is also on the other side, says, hey, pay us $7 first and then we let you in. Uh, so that's also their own research. I think that's there. What I, if, if I just talk about the sign up flow right now, I, I love the fact that there is Brian Dean picture in there. Yeah, Everybody true. knows an SEO Brian Dean who he is, and he likes the fact that he's talking about it so cheap, and you can directly get in to the product and get the value. Um, they also talk about like what we will get in the features. Um, so other than social proof, like five lookups for free, five lookups for search free, SERP free. So again, it's somebody, somebody who already knows about the tool will understand it, but somebody who is coming for the first time, and I think no SEO tools actually want to drive to non-educated SEO users because they would not know how to use it, right? True. So I think that's why they're already presuming that the fact that um, that something like this, this will happen. I also yeah. like the fact that they say there's no credit card needed, no string attached. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, um, so yeah, I think they've done a good job in terms of it's much more clean. Create my Mongols account also is a good CTA, not that bad. Yeah. Um, but they do ask for phone number and which is optional, yeah. right? And they are not yeah. an enterprise tool. Mm. So why would you would you ask for a number if you're not an enterprise tool? Um, so that's something that I think is interesting to know that they are still doing that. Uh, I would not ask for a number if it's a self-serve product like they yeah. are. I would not have a number. So one thing less to do there. Yeah, and it's optional, like. That was one thing that I read just recently from Conversion Excel. If it's optional, just just remove it. Totally agree with that. And you're you're right. Like there's great social proof. They're setting the expectation here on what you're exactly gonna get to the limit of your free trial. So you're not surprised. It's like, oh, I hit I hit a wall with the keyword finder. I hit five. Why didn't you let me know? But now they've they've like you know in advance. Got it. Got it. Also, I think. Do you think should should recaptcha be there or not? The which one? The, 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 I'm not a robot verification. Oh yeah. That, I mean, I can see why maybe they're getting us a bunch of spam. Like the, one of the companies I'm working with, we, we got a bunch of spam signups from Russia, but <laughs> that's a different story. But yeah, um, it's very easy. Just a click. What are your thoughts with it? Is it it's so, too much friction? According to the onboarding, uh, experts, uh, it's adding just one more friction in there. So either I had too much friction or I have no friction. That's the, the mantra. So if you're not, if you, if you're asking for an email, if you're asking for a password, adding a recaptcha, maybe you can add later on, or maybe you can make some other way to verify them. Just recaptcha. I think it's an old technology. Now there's this company yeah. called fast right now. They're doing a really good job on um, making the checkout or making the sign in very well. So I think maybe we can eventually use something like this and remove this specific mm. uh, verification technology. Yeah, and you're totally right. We're going to find in a bit that they do ask you to activate your email, which doesn't make sense if they already have this recaptcha. So, all right, so I'm going to create my uh, Mango Saka and I kind of alluded, all right, there it is. As I was saying, you do have to confirm your email. So it's interesting to ask to do the recaptcha, uh, recap chai and also confirm an email as well. This is like a big no-no that we've learned uh, from product led and with Wes his, his one of his case study with Snapa is like just adding this adds so much friction that one of the companies they work to increase the revenue just by removing this. Yeah. What do you think yeah. About this? yeah, that's true. Also, if I were them, I would definitely add. So now they say go to email address by Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook. So right. I think they're trying to help us. So in that, that, that they know that it's just friction. So they want right. to help us. And they have a recent email as confirmation as well. But if I were them, I would already have like some Firebase or a Google uh, or Facebook way to connect directly. So reducing the friction by adding even my email address there, just directly go inside the app by adding your Google account and you're in. And that's where you are much faster uh, inside the app. And I would recommend to use this. True. Let's actually check that email out. I already have it open here. Uh, it says activate your free trial. Just confirm your email address, you're good to go. You're almost there. Just click on the button below. Yeah. Uh, so can you can you show me the subject line? Yep. Confirm your email address to start your free trial. 
So they're trying to motivate me to confirm my email address to start my free trial, which is fine. But I think like, <laughs> I think I, there, there are more ways to tell me, hey, I can confirm my email address. So one thing I really like from Belle Giesel's, Giesler's um, uh, point of view when she does the onboarding teardown, she says, um, her, her subject line is, tell me if it's really you. It's like, you know, somebody, some human is talking to you and not a bot, right? right? But that's there. And you're almost there. Since they have my name there, why don't you say Azar you, or Ramli, you're almost there? True. So that's also interesting. Um, but I think typical every, every SaaS company makes this mistake. Also, there's again an info at mongols.com rather than yeah. actually comparatively instead of no reply, it's info. And even if you have info, put somebody's email address and make them confirm you. So it comes out of a normal human. So it looks more human as well. Yeah. And they, do they have a support email? No, right? They don't have a support email. No. If you didn't sign up for the service, just ignore this message. Uh, no, yeah. there's no support email. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So I would definitely add that as well. Yeah, I totally agree. It's it's totally true here. All right. Let's go. Cool. All right, we are in here. Uh, when I was th checking this out, one of the things that confused me was I thought I, it would bring me straight to the product, but it brought me to the pricing page. And I was, I was calling the most dominant call to action here is subscribe now. So I was like, okay, I guess I have to subscribe first before I get my free trial. And it wasn't until in the bottom when I said continue to your dashboard. But if you compare this, this two different call to actions, I, I feel like, and I believe that the green one's more prominent and maybe it's like some kind of UX design, dark, dark design where they're trying to already trying to sell it to you. And they are offering a 10% discount if you sign up within 57 minutes. That's interesting. That's, Something that I've seen, like scar not just scarcity, but like some kind of time bound. So I, I don't love it, actually. I would not get to try the product in pr first and tell them to price first. Maybe it's working for them. But if I were them, I would just like, I think this is a complete dark pattern. I would completely remove it from my onboarding and take them to a specific page. And also, I think green button is not a dark pattern, but having a pricing page directly, it's a dark pattern for me. Um, I mean, there's a difference of opinion there for sure, but mm -hmm. I do like the fact that if I would be able to directly go in there uh, and also you can offer me discount with a pop-up model or something like minutes left later on, um, to actually get them discount if I've used it. I haven't used it. I don't know the value of the platform and you're trying to sure. put the, in my face, this, this specific <laughs> product and I, I'm not convinced. Same. I'm not convinced. You haven't like I haven't checked out the product. I'm still skeptical. Why would you try to sell me right away? This feels this feels very more sales led. Like this is something a salesperson would say. It's like sign up now, ten percent discount in the next fifty seven minutes before yeah, you try the yeah. product. Yeah, definitely. Screening is based on auto renewal. What's your refund policy? Yeah. Still, I would still take them to the app, even if there's FAQs there. I agree. I think they should have been said maybe uh, closer to the front, right? Like before I sign up, like, can I cast them a subscription? Like this, this is too, too much things happening on this page. On the sign up pricing. Page, yeah. Yeah. Pricing, there's continuous and there's an FAQ. Yeah. Too much, a lot of cognitive load there. Yeah. Perfect. Let's go forward. Your 10 day free trial has been activated. Everything is ready. Right. Go ahead and explore <laughs> Mongols SEO too. Start with your queries. Oh, I like, I, well, yeah, okay. They give you some direction where to start, which is I, it's like better than a lot of apps that I've tried where they're like, here you are, welcome, do what you want, but start with the keyword research or create the first so, ranking. I like this. Yeah, if I were them, I would actually ask them a goal. Yeah. Now, right, and now I would ask a goal. Hey, what do you want to do first? Do you want to start your keyword research? Do you want to look at your current ranking? Um, do you look at, want to look at the keyword that is currently ranking on Google? Do you want to look at how many backlinks do you have? Or do you just want to analyze and audit your site? And based mm -hmm. on those five goals, I would direct them to different patterns to just help them understand where exactly they should go first. Because here you see there's an app shortcuts on the left side, there's available resources, there's a start with keyword research. So I think they're, they're, they have two, two buttons there, but I still feel like um, I would give them a choice. True. I totally agree. I think they're giving people, asking what their job to be done at the get-go can help really customize their experience, right? Like you can customize the email experience and the tours and this buttons right here. 
Yeah, let's start with something. Maybe start a keyword okay. research. All right, start with keyword. Oh, okay. It open up. Takes you to a new page, and now okay. you look the, the pattern here. The pattern says I have to log in again. That's why. <laughs> I am a Mongol <laughs> user and I hate that to core of my life because if I'm already logged in, they should already tell me, right? That yeah. I am logged in. That doesn't make sense. I mean, it feels like the five tools are very disconnected then. Does that mean that I had to create five different accounts? Get no, you just have to create one account, but they don't consider you logged in. So click on already have an account. Oh. I thought I was already logged in. I'm so confused. That's what I'm saying. That was a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so why did that happen? That was that was very confusing. Okay, I'm I'm in, and it looks the same as the other page. No, now it's different. Now it says Mongol SEO tools for Chrome extension. Um, on the right yeah, side, yeah, but like, tanks. but the same pattern, like app shortcut, available resources, all the thing on the left side are the same. It should take Minor you to changes. the start keyword research, right? Yeah, I did it. I'm, yeah. I'm, Kind of confused. Where let's let's I... let's go to keyword finder just for the sake of it. And in the app shortcut. Oh, there it is. Oh my goodness. Okay, now oh, there here. it is. It seems like a landing page to me, not a working page, right? Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. I would directly take them to the page, but I, I don't know. So here, they at least again, it seems like I'm outside. It says start your tender trial sign. Yeah. Am I, I don't feel like I'm part of the app. Yeah, I'm, I don't feel the same way. Do I have to sign in again? Like, what, what do I do here? Should I try signing in? Try, try it. Search keywords, actually. Yeah. All right. Now you're inside. Oh, what? That is so confusing. So I'm inside. It looks the same. Now I'm logged in. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's try a keyword research. Let's say product-led growth. So it doesn't educate you, right? So it just tells you, it gives you the data. It tells you what these keywords are. It doesn't tell you about the SERP overview. What is that? It doesn't tell you anything about, like it's just there. You just have to accept that this is the data that you Now, if you're not an expert, or if you do not know the tool that well, and if you're not coming out of from other tool, then you would be left hanging. And I don't think that should be the purpose. I think at least for the first time, they, when I click product led growth, they should give some kind of a help me there like hey these are your keywords and mm -hmm. if you click on the cpc like like a trend cpc they give you some kind of tooltip there this one? but i have to oh. make an effort right right yeah. so my opinion about mongols is that like if i were them i would actually go in first uh, fix the sign up flow remove the phone button mm -hmm. uh, remove the recaptcha uh, add some kind of uh, authentication in the in google um and uh, once they come in, I would not let the user sign out. I would let them sign in or keep them signing all the time. Um, I will not ask for the pricing. And when they are too, when they come in, at least for the first time, they should be able to um, give me five choices so I can click one of them. And the last thing I want to tell you is that this is what I love about Ahrefs is that they have something called how to use inside their app. Oh, okay. And so every page has how to use. So the user is never um loss less stranded okay that's one thing or maybe a button called dashboard walkthrough so when you right. click on it you can see the quick dashboard walkthrough what it is what exactly each thing does and that's it and that's what be my opinion and i would definitely re remove a confirmation email and make them confirm inside the app actually yeah totally agree so anything else you want to add no i think that those are pretty good analysis of the 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 onboarding Low. Yeah, I, I think the app is great, but app just does very bad job in onboarding. And if they fix this, they might be able to um, to increase the number. Also, I, the last part I hate is that they say they I can get 10% lifetime discount on Mongols, grab a discount. Yeah, Again, so I, I think it should come after first day when I have actually used the product a little bit. So they're trying to tell me to buy, but at least I've done certain thing inside the app and then I would show them this uh, Mm. um this banner true perfect that's all from our side yep that's it did you want to show the bowling alley framework oh ah, yeah that? let's go with the bowling alley framework okay so you should start and explain a little bit i mean i've, I've spoken a lot <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we, we were just walking through this for anybody who might be familiar at the, in the product like growth book 
uh, Wes put together the straight line onboarding where we talk about like how you want to bring people to the value as quickly as possible and removing friction. And that's what Azar was talking about was removing the activation email and then the, removing that pricing page, really trying to get them to experience the aha moment, that value uh, right from the get go. And part of it is asking people what it is it they exactly the reason they signed up. So like what you said was asking people, you know, five things that what, what is it that they sign up for? For Mongols and customizing and personalizing personalizing that experience from the get go, so that's the straight line onboarding and then there's conversational bumpers that we talked about with with um, you know we didn't really see any in app messages or you know we saw an email where it wasn't very personal and then the product bumper would be any tools on the product side which which we can see like like tours or other things like that. Yeah. So do you think it was a straight line onboarding for you? No, I don't, I don't think so. I think there was a lot of things that they could have taken out, like what we talked about. Um, and definitely feel like there needs to be more things like what we talked about removed in that whole process. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Great. So if you want to improve your onboarding, then focus on uh, bowling alley framework and take the user directly to the value. Um, that's all from our side. If you want to get some help, uh, we have a giveaway. Just write hashtag onboarding in the in the comments below and subscribe to our channel. Um, I will pick a winner and we'll give you a personalized onboarding tour. Why? Because we cannot take everybody uh, and show their product onboarding tour tear down in this channel. That's it.